G'day, I'm Mark from Self Sufficient Me and this is just a simple video on how to make a stock cube. You could use vegetables or chicken stock or beef and this is just a silver side that I had boiled and I would just reduce the stock right down to about two inches and instead of putting it in a freezer bag and taking up freezer space or having it in a big container in the fridge, all I simply do is strain it. I mean, you could clarify this and or you could put it in the refrigerator first and then skim off the fat. But if it's not too fatty, you can just strain it. Then you just place it into a non-stick pan. And from there, I whack it into the dehydrator. Because that's the, 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 that uses less power than the oven. You could put it in the oven on a low heat with the door ajar and it'd do the same thing. But I'd prefer using a dehydrator for this. You can see there I've got it on its highest setting but you could use it a bit lower and you just simply dehydrate it down until when you put run your fingers over it it doesn't come off in your hand but it's still a bit moist underneath and then I just use a wooden spatula or plastic spatula to to um, remove it I was just doing that with one hand there because I'm trying to film but um, after you remove the the stock from the pan you just then mold it into a little cube. You can use this hole, you can just dissolve it down in hot water whenever you need to make another meal and with a beautiful stock or you can use little pieces, just cut pieces off for some noodles or a single meal if you want and it takes up so much less space. You know they keep for quite a long time in the fridge, I just keep mine near the butter and that's about it. Hope you enjoyed that uh, simple tip of how to make a stock cube. I've written a more detailed article on our blog so come along and have a read. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.